Hey everybody, Matt here from Matt's Movies, Music and More, welcoming you to a special movie review. Today I am reviewing a film which has been sent to me by a film company. Can you believe it? I haven't been running very long and already I've got my first opportunity to talk about a movie sent to me. I am so happy about this. I don't know if you can tell with my reactions, but uh, I'm over the moon and I would like to thank that company now. This movie has been sent to me courtesy of Screenbound Entertainment a UK DVD Blu-ray distributor who have cl released classic horror movies and loads of new type movies as well. So there's plenty for everyone on this label. And um, the first movie that they've actually sent me, I'm really happy about. I'm hoping you guys will send me more if you like this. So big thumbs up to you. So the movie I'm going to be talking about today is the 2019 movie Crucible of the Vampire, directed by Ian Ross McNamee and starring Katie Goldfinch, Florence Cady and Neil Morrissey. Now, as you're probably going to see, I've got my tablet here to help me read you the plot, which I'm going to do. A young muse museum curator, Isabel, played by Katie Goldfinch, she's sent to look for an ancient artifact discovered in the basement of a stately home in Shropshire. Welcomed into the sprawling manor house by a seemingly hospitable family, Carl, his wife Evelyn, and the beautiful daughter Scarlett, played by Florence Cady. But all is not what it seems, as a dark, terrifying secret hangs over them. When Isabel discovers the truth within the mansion's foreboding walls, can she escape the clutches of its malevolent occupants? So, what that means, basically, is that in this movie, Isabel being the curator, she has been sent to this place by the museum to go and look for this artefact, which happens to be a piece of a cauldron which was used in the during the English um, Civil War um, by a necromancer called Ezekiel and um, apparently witch finders who were out looking for witches and stuff at that time they accuse him of being a necromancer because this cauldron's got some sort of sacred um, inscription written in it and one of the witch finders destroys it with his sword splitting it in half and before Ezekiel gets hanged and um, it's all going out because he tried to rise his um, bring his daughter back from the dead and um, in this movie when Isabel goes and stays with the family um, you have them there and Scarlett is very much you know she's being very seductive towards Isabel Isabel being the um, sort of virginal character you know she's very sweet and innocent and she's really focused on doing her job um and it goes on that they they have ulterior motives in this movie which i don't really want to spoil for you now you haven't heard me mention anything about neil morrissey now neil morrissey great british actor who you may have seen in early 80s with boone as well as obviously his big big hit in the 1990s the tv series men behaving badly and then obviously he would go on to bigger things with being the voice of Bob in Bob the Builder. Now in this movie he plays Robert who is a gardener um, and he's really on Isabel's side. I mean you don't see him very much in the movie but when you do he has a real on-screen presence and I really really like him. I think he's really good. Now regarding this movie I don't want to spoil it anymore by telling you more about it. I think the less you know the better for you. Um, all I do want to say is um, this movie did very, very well at the Cannes Film Festival last year and um, it's now getting a limited edition theatrical run which the movie gets released in the cinemas in the UK on February 1st and it then three days later on the 4th of February it will be available to pick up on dual format DVD slash Blu-ray combi pack as well as digital services such as Amazon and many other sites. So you'll be able to rent it or buy it from them. So again, that's Crucible of the Vampire. I just want to say a big, big thank you to Debbie at AIM Publicity for sending me this on behalf of Screenbound. So thank you very, very much, guys. Check out all the links in the descriptions. You'll be able to find um, all of the links to pick up the latest release of this film, as well as the digital sites as well. And um, check out in my links and descriptions for all my social media platforms, as well as giving me a comment and like and tell me what you think of this. So thank you very much everybody and all the very best to you. Bye bye.